what a joy it is to be worshipping with you once again and to you, our fellow viewers. I thank my God through Jesus Christ for you all that your faith is still intact despite the number of challenges faced each and every day. May the eternal light from heaven continue to shine in your hearts and supply you with the strength and courage you need to stay on the battlefield. Oh, yes. A happy Sunday to you and you and you mm -hmm. and you. And you. <laughs> I am Minister Sharon Duffusgat. And I'm Minister Nicolin Stevenson. And on behalf of our founder, our international presiding bishop and general overseer, Apostle Bishop Dr. Delpha Davis and his wife, our international first lady, Minister Dr. Petrova Davis, yes. our senior assistant pastor, the Reverend Isilda Noteman. The International Executive Management Council, the ministers, and the entire Power of Faith family, we welcome you to our Sunday morning live service. We're broadcasting from the Power of Faith Ministries International Headquarters right here in the sunshine city of Portmore, St. Catherine, Jamaica, West Indies. And wherever we find you, this morning, this afternoon, tonight, whenever, wherever, Whatever platform you have joined us on, we are elated that you have chosen to worship with us. Today, we have two wonderful sessions lined up for you. The first being now and the other at 6.30 p.m. Be reminded that for now, we have only one morning service on Sundays, which commences at 7 a.m. But of course... We, we have, have our usual night services and it commences at 6.30 p.m. So stay tuned though, we will have some updates relating to our morning services. Anyway, church is in session, so stay tuned for further announcements and reminders. For now, let us go to, go to church and enjoy this great feast that is being served in the church.
change. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Are you feeling good this morning? Are you feeling good this morning? Glory to God. I'm feeling good. Glory to God. The devil won't stop me from praising him this morning. Hallelujah. He's trying to fight me with sickness. But in the name of Jesus Christ, I come to praise him. Glory to God. He said, if I be lifted up from this earth, I will draw men unto him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I thank you, Jesus. I greet you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Grace and peace be unto you. 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm exalted, Thomas, and I'll be the moderator for this morning. Glory to God. Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There's a sweet anointing in this place. Oh, glory to God. Can you feel his presence this morning? Can you feel the mighty presence of God this morning? Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm, you will never change, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We will turn your redemption song to number 192. Down at the cross where my Savior died. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Down at the cross Jesus. where my Savior died. Down where for cleansing from sin I cried.
God, glory to his wonderful name. Hallelujah. As we are about to petition the Lord in prayer, I ask as many as can come to the altar to come and let us enter the throne of grace. Hallelujah. As the praise team sing, he touched me. He touched Hallelujah. Me. Do you need a touch from the Lord this morning? Oh, he touched me. Hallelujah. And oh, the joy that floods my soul. Someday. to the holies of holies glory to God hallelujah the Bible said glory to God that we must worship him in spirit and in truth he said no flesh shall come and glory before his presence glory to God enter into the holies of holies this morning hallelujah put off everything Glory to God and anything that will stop you this morning. Glory to God. Father, we thank you. Father, we praise you, Lord. Father God, as we enter into your presence this morning, God, you said no flesh shall glory for your presence. Glory to God. We come with a clean hands and pure heart. Glory to God. He said, who shall ascend into the hills of the Lord? He said, he that have a clean hands and a pure heart, who have not lifted his soul unto vanity, not so undeceitfully. Father God, we praise you. You are the I am that I am. You are the bright and morning star. You are omniscient. You are omnipresent. You are Jehovah Jireh. You are Jehovah Shammah. You are Jehovah Rapha. And Father God, we praise you, Lord. God, we lift you up in the name of Jesus Christ. You said there is no other name on under heaven given among men where we might be saved. Father God, you said every knee shall bow. Oh, glory to God and every tongue shall confess that you are God. 
Father God, we thank you for your grace. Oh, glory to God that you have extended to us. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, let us not take your grace for granted, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father God, I pray that you may wash us even right now. God, I pray that they may cleanse us from the crown of our head, Father God, even to the very sole of our feet. Father God, we ask you to touch us again, mighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ. You said all of our righteousness are like filthy rags. Oh, glory to God, but we thank you for your blood in the name of Jesus Christ. The blood, mighty God, that flows from Calvary. Oh, glory to God the blood that washes white and snow uh, almighty God in the name of Jesus Christ Father God as your people come into your house Father God, there are many needs this morning. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we are broken hearted among us this morning. Father God, we have persons that are burdened down. Father God, we have persons that need a healing, mighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But Father God, we are at the right place. Oh, glory to God, and we are at the right time, mighty God, in the name name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we stretch our hands to you this morning. God, there is no other help that we know. So as your people stretch, to, oh, mighty God, your hands to heaven. As mighty God, mighty God, as they offer up their prayers unto you. Father God, your ears are not too heavy that you cannot hear. And your hands are not too short that you cannot save. So we ask you to touch your people people this morning in the name of Jesus Christ oh glory to God let none of us leave here the way that we came oh glory to God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth but we will leave here refreshed renewed mighty God and restored in the name of Jesus Christ Father God we ask your mighty God as your people that we will continue mighty Mighty God, to all fast, mighty God, uh, to all steadfast in faith, uh, oh glory to God, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, Father God, we pray to forgive us if we are not doing that which you have called us to do, uh, glory to God, sometimes we get complacent. Oh, glory to God, but you said it is required of stewards that a man be found faithful in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, mighty God, that we will feel the fire Jeremiah felt when he said, I feel like the fire shut up in my bones. Oh, glory to God, hallelujah. Oh, glory to God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, you have blessed us with talents and you have blessed us with gifts, Lord. But God, some of us, Lord, we are not using the talents and gifts that you have given unto us. But Father God, we pray to forgive us. Oh, glory to God. In the name of Jesus Christ, let us be true to our calling. That which you have called us to do. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God, as your people continue, glory to God to run this race with grace and with patience. We ask you to give us grace. Give us the strength that we need, mighty God. In the name of Jesus Christ, just continue to raise us up. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus Christ, to do your will. It's not about our will, nor our way. God, forgive us if we have become self-righteous. Oh, glory to God. Forgive us if we have become high-minded, Lord. Oh, glory to God. Let us remain humble before you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we thank you. As we gather on this second Sunday, 2024, Lord. Father God, we ask you to increase our faith. As the disciples ask you to increase their faith. 
God, we know that there are many challenges ahead. We know that there are many obstacles ahead, Lord. But Father God, we ask you to give us the strength to overcome mighty God in the name of Jesus Christ. And let us do and say, as Job said, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. All my appointed time, I'm going to wait until my change come. Though the vision tarries as I've said, Lord, we're going to wait. God, in the name of Jesus, because it shall surely come to pass. Glory to God. Father God, we ask you, Jesus Christ, just continue to touch your people. Continue to bless us, Lord. Continue to keep us, Father God. Father God, we put the leaders of this great ministry before you. Almighty oh, God, how oh, great leaders they are. God, we have seen it. Glory to God in the name of Jesus Christ. And we ask you that you continue to keep them, Lord. Continue to touch them. Continue to preserve them, mighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father God, we ask you, as you take the spirit of Moses uh, and put it on the elders, Lord. Even so, take the spirit of our leaders uh, and place it on us, Lord, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, Father God, we pray that you will continue to touch each and every one of us. Touch the choirs this morning as they minister to you. Uh, touch each and every one of us, mighty God. And Father God, if there's anything that we fail to ask of you, uh, fail not to grant it unto us. Fail not to grant it unto us. Oh God, as we continue to believe. Glory to God. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in thy sight, Father. Glory to God as you, cont as you return to your seat. Thus continue to give God praise. Thus continue to give him glory. Oh God, the song said thanks. Thanks, I give him thanks. Glory to God in the name of Jesus Christ. And there's another song that said, In everything, give him thanks. In the good times, we're going to praise his name. And in the bad times, we're going to do the same. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm here this morning to tell you. Glory to God, as the angel said to Daniel, Fear not. Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou set thine heart unto, unto understanding and hung thyself before thy God, thy words, thy words have been heard and I have come for thy words. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have prayed. You have prayed. Heaven. Heaven, I've heard your prayer, and the answer is on its way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, give him a praise. Give him a praise this morning. Hallelujah. Fear not. Fear not. Hallelujah. Thy words have been heard. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Mwah. Yes, Father, we believe, Lord, we believe, we believe, we believe. He said, if we have faith as a mustard seed, we shall say to the mountain, Peace, thou will move. Hallelujah. Do you believe that this morning? Hallelujah. The thing that is killing us as Christians these days is a lack of faith. Glory to God. But all steadfast in faith my brothers and my sisters. Hallelujah. As we are about to embark on the breaking of the bread this morning, our scripture reading will be taken from Jeremiah 1, verses 1 to 10. Hallelujah. I greet my bishop this morning and his wife, Minister Davis. Hallelujah. To people of God that I love dearly, Hallelujah. Do you love them this morning? Do you love them? Hallelujah. And I greet you all 
in no other name but the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Nala baba ba kushi nili biko mili bimi kansi nteni yandela mama makushanta. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord, we thank you. Mm. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Do your work, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. We give it all unto you this morning. You are the audience this morning, Jesus. Oh, Father God. Hallelujah. No. Jesus. 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 Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God, is an awesome present in this place. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. No. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Jesus. Oh, God, move. Move by your spirit, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Father, we praise you. God, we give it all to you this morning. We lift up your holy name, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The song said, I will not be silent. Oh God, I worship you. Come on, Virgin. Give the God some praise this morning. Give him some praise this morning. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, 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 Lord. We will not remain silent this morning. We will praise you with every being, Lord. Everything that we have, God, we give it to you. My mind, my heart, my soul. I give it all to you this morning, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Glory to God. We will not remain silent this morning because he deserves all the praise. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Nama mama koshin didi bi. Bidi bi kosanta. Mini mimi koshan didi bi kesende di yondolo bo bo bo. Mina ma koshan dala raba baba. Ile ma koshin didi yendolo bo yendolo bo. Ile ma ba koshin didi yendolo be. Ile ba mama mama mama.
Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. Jesus. We worship you, Lord. Glory to God. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Jesus, we worship you. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God is good, my brother. The Lord is good. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He's worthy to receive all praise. Mm. Isaiah said, I saw him. I am lifted up in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 1, verses 1 to 10. Hallelujah. The words of Jeremiah, the son of Ilkiah, of the priests that were in Anathoth, in the land of Benjamin, to whom the word of the Lord came in the days of Josiah, the king of Ammon. Sorry, the son of Ammon, the king of Judah, in the 13th year of his reign. And it came also in the days of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, the king of Judah, unto the end of the eleventh year of Zedekiah, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, unto the carrying away of Jerusalem captive in the fifth month. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctify thee and I ordain thee a prophet unto the nations. Hallelujah. Then said I, Ha, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, Say not. I am a child, glory to God, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, said the Lord. Glory to God, the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. Verse 10 and final. See, I have this day set thee over nations and over kingdoms. Hallelujah. To root out, to pull down, to destroy, to throw down, to build up, and to plant in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us say verse 10 again. See, I have this day set before thee over nations and over kingdoms to root out, to pull down, to destroy, to throw down, to build, and to plant. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. God has spoken. And let the church say. God has spoken. And let the church say. Amen. Hallelujah. You may have your seat. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Coming to us. This time with the choir ministry is the Voices of Inspiration Choir. Put your hands together and make them welcome. Hallelujah.
we're going through some storms this morning. Whatever the storm you may be going through, we are here to tell you that the storm is passing over. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
was passing over. But by the good hand of God, we will be able to ride out the storms. Be seated, please. We want to extend our greetings to all present in this worship space and those in other places near and far, home and abroad, we welcome you. Of course, you know, when I make this kind of unusual pres uh, appearance, something will be happening. Nothing strange. I'll be going to another of the assemblies this morning to preach to a much smaller congregation. Can't take so much people all the time. <laughs> so, so I go to Grove Road to preach to the smaller number and leave this big number for this morning. But secondly, I want to have a prayer with one of our young men and we thank the Lord for his blessings upon the young people of this church some were can I use the term born in this church it means their parents were members and they uh, produced them while they're members in this church and they grew up in this church I want to invite the Peter King's family to come at this time Ministers Nicholas and Tamika, and also Nathaniel and Talia and Tiana. I want to pray with this family as Nathaniel will be leaving us sometimes this week for medical school overseas. We give God thanks. Nathaniel gave his heart to the Lord at 10 years old, 10 years young, and has been in this church. Never caused any problem that I really know of. Very fine young man, quiet disposition, and he has been serving the Lord. Members of the member of the Bible study department, silent worshippers, AV department, he assists there at times. Graduate of Arden High School, sixth form, and acquitted himself very well. And will be leaving us for higher studies, medical studies university abroad we thank God for you brother Nathaniel you're a fine young man and we expect the best of you part of a wonderful family and now that you'll be separated we pray that the Lord will strengthen you all and keep you together bonded our prayers will be with you always. We are mindful also of our little Powell. I almost say Jason, but it's not Jason. Justin. It's Justin. Yes. Justin Powell is overseas also doing medical studies. We pray for him that the Lord will keep him safe as we do the same for you. You will remain focused. You will achieve your goals. And when you return by the grace of the Lord, God tarries, all things go well. We'll be proud and pleased to call you Dr. Nathaniel Peter King. We look forward to that. You are going to see a lot of pretty girls over there. Don't let them distract you. Okay? 
I'm just telling you the plain truth. And some of those white girls love dark color men. And they'll try to sweep you off your feet. Stay focused, okay? The Lord will be by your side. Point your hands and let us pray with the family. Father, we thank you for blessings conferred in so many ways. We thank you for the Peter King's family. You have brought them into this church, mother and father, who have become parents of these three lovely children. And now, Lord, we commit Nathaniel to your care, to your keeping. The earth is yours, the fullness thereof, the world, and they that dwell therein. Father is going into a strange land. All kinds of cultures will be merged in that university. As people from all over the world will be there. We ask you Lord God to make him outstanding. Help him Lord God to stay focused on his university studies. We believe Lord God his faith in you will assist the journey significantly. So help him to keep his eyes on you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let no destruction of any sort come by Nathaniel. But oh, as he has been over these years, decent and dignified and God-fearing and well-calculated, we pray that he'll be the very same, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We pray for his parents, we pray for the siblings, that you watch over them. In the name of Jesus, sustain them by your grace. It's not easy to have him depart from this well-bonded family. But, oh God, we know they'll be kept together in love and in unity. So, God, we commit Nathaniel to you. From the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. We commit his sisters to you. We commit his parents to you. And pray that goodness and mercy will be with him every step of the way. And oh God, as you tarry, and as he pursued, when he shall have returned to these shores, we will give you the glory, the praise, and the honor for missions accomplished for your glory and for your honor. We bless him and we bless them now in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. And amen. The Lord be with you, sir. And we will always be hanging in there in prayer for you and for this wonderful family. Bless you. Say, bless them, Lord. Bless them, Lord. Amen. Give God praise for them. Start with me, please, for a prayer. I love to do prayer with you. Glory to God. Father, we once again, once again, we bow in your presence. We give you thanks for this wonderful day. We give you thanks for all the attendant blessings that come to us already in these early hours of the day. We commit ourselves to you for service. We commit ourselves to you to be the Samaritan that you want us to be. And Father God, as we go through this week, another work week, another school week, week of all kinds of activities, we pray in the name of Jesus that the angel of your presence will be with us. Let goodness and mercy walk with each and every person. Grant, O oh Lord, that all the plans, attack of the enemy will be defeated. And your people shall walk in victory. No weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. And the tongue that rises against us in judgment shall be condemned. In the name of Jesus. Take away sickness. Keep away sickness. Preserve us from accident and danger. In the name of Jesus. Those who will face the doctors today, this week for one reason or another. Those who will face the judges in chambers for one reason or another. Those who will do interviews and different things, oh God. The embassy, U.S. embassy, Canadian embassy, British High Commission. 
came on wherever they God they will go today this week seek in your favor we ask you Lord God to open the doors and bless your people with favor you tell us you'll be with us going out and coming in we claim it in the name of Jesus Christ and as we have blessed Nathaniel and his family even so we bless this congregation we extend the blessing to Justin Powell, O oh God, in this moment also. Be with Justin, watch over him, cover him, keep him safe in the outer palm of your hand. And Father God, please use us for your glory and for your honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Lift up your hands and give the Lord praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Glory to God. Mm. Wave your hands in his presence. Thank him for something that you know he has done and he alone could have done. Not your mother, not your father, not your brother, not your sister, not your elder, not your bishop. Only God. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. Be seated, please. Please continue to pray for Minister Maxine Murray. You haven't seen her for a little while. She had an unfortunate incident. Some of you know about it. Uh, while she was exiting a taxi, a car, he drove off and ran over her leg. Yeah, so she's been in deep distress. Oh, Lord, coming along with give her your prayers. Amen. And we want to, let me just encourage us to continue in our fasting and prayer, especially the assigned groups. Please make sure that you commit fully. And not just the assigned group, but all of us ought to commit ourselves to so these days and nights of fasting and prayer, culminating on the 31st of January, a Wednesday night when I hope we all would come together for a grand celebration, giving God thanks. Amen. Amen. Next Sunday, the Lord willing, we are asking you to make it a very special one a white Sunday all white apparel if at all you can but certainly come along and everybody should be in fasting because of course we all fast at least on a Sunday we've been fasting we're going to have special prayer ministry for the body of Christ on next Sunday morning and then in the evening you know what happens we get together to celebrate and give God thanks for the ministry and service and person of Minister Isilda Notesman. It's a 5.30 event because we want as many persons and groups as possible to be able to participate. So like you packed this sanctuary this morning, we want for you to do so next Sunday evening as we celebrate with our dear Minister Isilda. If you have not yet received your envelope to give a love, make a love gift, make sure you get it this morning. They are available. The ushers will make sure you get one. Okay, the Lord bless you. Minister Davis will say the other things that I would say, but let me spend a few more minutes and leave for the Grove Road Assembly. Pray for us. Amen. Moderator. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Bishop. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad that you're a part of the family of God? Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What a wonderful family to be a part of. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We will continue. It is my honor and privilege to give the official welcome and acknowledgement. Abba Cook 3, 17 to 19. 
Although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall the fruit be in the vine. The labor of the olive shall fail, and the fields shall yield, yield no meat. The flock shall be cut off from the fold, and there shall be no herd in the stall. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Hallelujah. Let us welcome every morning with a smile. Look on a new day as another special gift from God. Another golden opportunity to complete what you were unable to finish yesterday. Be a self-starter. Let your first hours set the theme of success and positive action that is certain to echo through the entire day. Today will never happen again. Don't waste it with a false start or no start at all. You were born to win and not to fail. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today is the second Sunday of 2024. And as you all know, it is the year of more. Hallelujah. Turn to your neighbor and say, it is the year of more. Glory to God. We welcome everyone to the Power of Faith Ministries International. Where the undiluted word of God is preached. Where miracles happen. And where the signs of Mark 16, verse 17 to 18 are evident. Glory to God. Let me first give special welcome and acknowledgement. Acknowledgement to our profound leaders, our pastor and apostle bishop, Dr. Delpha Davis, and our wonderful first lady, Minister Petrova Davis. Come on, put your hands together and make them welcome. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad to have them as your leader? Glory to God. Hallelujah. They are exceptional, God chosen, distinguished leaders, and we deeply appreciate their role as our pastors and the way that they have been leading this great ministry. I also greet the ministerial body, the elders and all officers and all God dedicated servant leaders. Hallelujah. Do we have any visitor visiting with us this morning, whether first time or a regular visitor? Can you just wave your hands? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Put your hands together for them. Hallelujah. We thank you for making it powerful this morning. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If you are not a Christian, I leave it to you. Isaiah 55 verse 6. It says, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. And if you are a child of God, I leave it to you. Proverbs 5, Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 6, where it said, The Lord, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And lean not to thine own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. Hallelujah. To our dedicated viewers and browsers, on the various platforms, we say, welcome. We thank you for your unwavering support. Don't touch that dial. A blessing awaits you. It may be through a song, a prayer, or the spoken word. May the Lord give you the necessary support. To handle what you think is unmanageable. Congregation, put your hands together and make yourself welcome. Hallelujah. Make our viewers welcome and our browsers. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We now make welcome the choir ministry of a choir that I love dearly. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I implore all the men of this church. Let me take the opportunity, sir. Could I take the opportunity, sir? Let, let me take the opportunity and welcome all the men of this church to be a part of this wonderful men's choir. Glory to God. They are growing in numbers and in strength and ministry. Glory to God. Let's continue to pray for them. Glory to God in the name of Jesus Christ. So make it, make it an appointment to be a part of the united voices we look forward to have you for next month men sunday hallelujah glory to god in the name of jesus christ hallelujah god bless you everyone hallelujah
shout a praise in the house this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Rough 
Hallelujah. God. Glory to God. Coming up on the rough side of the mountain. We're going to have those days. Glory to God. And I think Job have those days. Glory to God. But you know, sometimes when you're going through a mountain experience, it's best to go through it alone. Hallelujah. We've seen it with Job and his friends. Even his wife said, why don't you curse God? Glory to God. Glory to God. But sometimes we have to go through or go up our mountain experience alone in our closet with God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm coming up on the rough side of the mountain, but we are going to do our best to make it in. And guess what? We are not going to be selfish. We are going to ensure we are taking someone with us. If you're walking by the wayside and we see our brother falling, our sister falling, glory to God, we're not going to make a wounded soldier die. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Please may welcome the praise team as they do the praise expression. Hallelujah. 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 Come Thank on, jump to your feet this morning. Thank you, Jesus. We're not tired, are we? Glory not at all. None of us are weary in the presence of the Lord. So Hallelujah. jump up to your feet this morning if you know that you have Hallelujah. a rock that you can hide in, a rock in which you are safe, a rock in which you are strong. Come on, put your hands together this morning. Hallelujah. In the rock, I'll hide. In the shadow. Shut 
Jesus, the heart of the battle, the sweet of the victory. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank you, Jesus. Mm. It is my time. Glory to God. Jesus. Hallelujah. There's a sweet spirit in this place. Thank you, Jesus. It is my time to get out of the way. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. The next ministry you have is the Echoes of Faith. And after Echoes of Faith, I want you to stand and make welcome our First Lady, Minister Dr. Petrova Davis. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It was my pleasure to have served you. And I leave with you this thought before I go. Steadfast in faith. Faith sees the invisible. Believe the unbelievable. And receive the impossible. God doesn't always take you out of the problem. He stretches your faith by taking you through the problem. Hallelujah. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 58 says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as he knows that your labor is not in vain. Hallelujah. The Christian who remains steadfast in his faith is comparable to a soldier who does not desert his unit or go AWOL, despite the intense pressure from the adversary. Just like all the general in the army expect the soldier to stand firm at his post, even so, our general, God expects us to stand firm in faith. <laughs> Glory to God. Never abandon to your post. Hallelujah. I don't know where in the body of Christ I am, but I will work while it is day. For the night cometh when no man can work. Glory to God. I encourage you to stand fast in faith. Be firm in holding and defending the truth of the gospel. Do not yield to any foe, but maintain the truth. And, the, and, the, and adhere to the confidence in God and to the doctrine of the gospel. Be firm in maintaining what you believe. And hold fast to your personal confidence in God. The only way to experience a true power in faith is to be steadfast in faith. Glory to God. The name of the church is a very powerful name, brethren. The power in faith. So the only way to experience the power in faith is to be steadfast in faith. Hallelujah. It was my pleasure to have served you. Please make welcome the choir and meet immediately after the choir. Stand and make our minister welcome, Minister Dr. Petrova Davis. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. If you don't mind, just raise your hand in his presence for a moment. Don't take them down yet. Hallelujah. Just keep them up there for a little while. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This morning we are about to minister a song to you. I saw the Lord. Hallelujah. High and lifted up. In this chapter of Isaiah chapter 6, it's a beautiful story there. Of Isaiah had an experience with God. I observed that Isaiah was prophesying for six chapters before, five chapters before he get there. But at chapter 6, when his cousin it said Uzziah the king's died the Bible said that Isaiah had an encounter with God he saw the Lord high and lifted up Isaiah said his train filled the temple he described the angel that covers the glory of the Lord the seraphims he said he had six wings with two wings he covered his body with two wings, the angel before the presence of God cover his face. And with two wings, he did fly. The glorious God that even the angel in heaven could not look upon his glory. He has given us an invitation, open invitation to come into this majestic glory that angel cannot look upon. Men have the opportunity to enter into this holy place this consuming God Isaiah said fire smoke fill the room 
where the Lord was. He said when he spoke, the angel cried, Holy, Holy, Holy is the Lord God Almighty. The whole earth is filled with his glory. Come on, just give a picture of this great God if you can this morning. Just think about him. This majestic God. This supernatural being. That Moses stood before. Upon the mountain when God came down. The Bible said the mountain shake. At the presence of this great God. This great God. He is a consuming fire. He is an excellent majestic. Daniel call him the great and terrible God. We are before this great God this morning. Let us not take for granted the privilege to come in. Into this great God's presence. So this morning as we sing. Hey, Shadabo Kata. Hey, Kabanda, da 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 bo in the lava. Oh, one more thing. We are going to sing church. I was praying in the fasting service, and the Holy Spirit <laughs> ministered to my spirit. Moses went up into the mountain to meet with God. And God said to Moses, go down, Moses. Consecrate the people for three days. Don't let them go into their wives. Let them wash their clothes and bathe. And bring them to the mountain when you hear the trumpet sound. Louder and louder and louder. But draw a bad Mount Moses. Draw a line that the people don't cross it. Else they will be shot through. And when Moses bring the people. And God spoke. The people didn't want to hear the voice of God no more. Because they were afraid. God called Moses up into the mountain. And when God said go back. Let the people break through. Moses said no. The people won't pass the boundaries that you said. And God said, go down, Moses. They don't have to cross the, bond, the borders. Lest they gaze on the Lord. Just a prip. Lest they gaze on the Lord and his perish. When Moses stayed up in the mountain for 40 days, the Bible said when he came back to the people, the people couldn't look on Moses' face. Because Moses' skin was shining. And the Holy Ghost said to me, The glory is not is the, the shining is not in the hearing. But the shining is in the seeing. Moses saw the Lord on the mountain. And this is where God wants us to get to that place. The place where we are not just hearing, but we are now seeing the glory. We are now seeing the glory. Raise your hands in the presence of this great, glorious God this morning. There's an awesome atmosphere in the hand, in the sanctuary. As we sing this morning, Hallelujah! I see the Lord. I see the Lord. Hallelujah! Sing quiet, I see the Lord. The Lord, I see the Lord. I see the Lord. Exalted high. Exalted high above the worship. The people. Said I see the Lord. Come again, 
choir sing, I see the Lord, I see the Lord, I see the Lord, I see the Lord, He's exalted, exalted high above the worship of the people of the earth. I see the Lord.
for my eyes, for my eyes have seen the dream, the Lamb, the Lamb of your hands together and make Minister Davis welcome. Hallelujah. He reigns forevermore. King of kings, Lord of lords, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, our El Shaddai, hallelujah. He's everything and so much more. And we honor him this morning. Just lift your hands above your head and just give him a note of worship. Bless the Lord, honor his presence. The Lord is good, he's in the house this morning, hallelujah. He's here. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. The king is in residence. Ah, we praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Just reach across to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, I love you with the love of the Lord. Tell another neighbor, I love you with the love of the Lord hallelujah you are my brother you are my sister so take me by the hand together we will work until he comes there is no foe that can defeat us when we walk in side by side as long as we are together we will stand oh glory to God hallelujah Hallelujah! Emayosa! Hallelujah! Glory to the Lamb of God this morning! Hallelujah! Glory, glory, glory! Glory to God! God bless you. You can be seated for about five minutes. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. What better place could you and I be this morning and to feel oh glory to God this awesome presence the presence of the Lord sweet Holy Spirit sweet heavenly dove stay right here with us and just fill us with your love oh glory to God God richly bless you glory hallelujah Thank you, Jesus. I worship you. I have two envelopes in my possession. But before I do anything, I just want to greet God's wonderful people this morning. I give God thanks to be in his presence. And it's because of the Lord's mercies this morning why I am not consumed. Great is God's faithfulness. I want to greet our viewing audiences and just about everyone in the house. God's talawats, the servants of God. Ah, oh, Jesus, both on the upper and the lower platform. Time would not allow me this morning. I wish I had a little bit more time, but I'd have to use what I have to greet them individually and call them by name. But they are known by you, and we give God thanks. Put your hands together and give the servants of God a very big hand this morning. Praise God, our bishop, our apostle, the servant of the Most High God. As he has told you, he's gone to the Grove Road Assembly this morning. Please breathe a word of prayer for him, that the Lord will continue to anoint and use him for his glory and for his honor. 
We want to thank all our viewers that are out there this morning and many of them who are members of this church and there are those who are not and they continue to be a blessing to this ministry in so many different ways. Give our viewers out there a very big power of faith hand this morning. Glory to God. And with that in mind, I have two envelopes here in my hand. One for Minister Isil, the note man. Praise God, my pleasure, ma'am. It's from a wonderful lady from overseas who wish to remain anonymous. We give you thanks, my precious sister. And also I have one for Udell, Sister Udell Fraser. Are you here? Yes, please come. Praise God, I was asked to convey this to you. You will see who it is coming from. Praise God, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. This is a person that gave both of you, Minister Noteman and yourself. All right, I do what I was asked to do. God bless you. Praise God. I also have an envelope here from Cordell Elson Solomon in the USA. And it's for a single mother. But I want to give it to a single young lady who is represented by a single mother. Come, Sister Montague. Come. I want to give it to you. She lives with a single mother, and I know the needs, so I want to give it to you on behalf of your mother. Praise God, and it's coming from Sister Elsom Solomon from the USA. God bless you. I know it will be a blessing. God bless you. Praise God. And just very quickly, I was asked by Bishop to do this now because um, maybe later on we'll miss a few of you because before the service dismiss sometimes a few of you may go by and those who may be watching on Wednesday evening of this week at 6.30 p.m. this Wednesday evening it will be members meeting both officers and members of the Power of Faith Ministries well, Bishop would like to have us here. We start off a new year where we are going to be pursuing, praise God, all the year's activities. So we want all members of Power Faith to be present this Wednesday evening at 6.30 p.m. We want to discuss family matters that has to do with the ministry's development in different areas. We also want your input, whatever you think can enhance the ministry, for its furtherance and to serve you and others better. Come with your ideas and everything. Praise God and it will be welcomed. So this is Wednesday evening at 6.30 p.m. All members and officers of the Power of Faith Ministries headquarters, you are asked to be here for our members meeting. Praise God. Our fasting service will continue straight through until the 31st of January, all the different departments and auxiliaries that are assigned, we ask you please to do so. And members, don't take it for granted. We are asking us, all of us, to be a part of this solemn month of January where we spend time consecrating ourselves to the Lord for ministry. Praise God. The Lord said so we are to pray and not to faint. And this Sunday evening, this evening, this evening, Bishop would like to meet with all of the auxiliary, the YM, the EMC members, all EMC members, all right, executive management council members, heads of councils and auxiliaries. So all the EMC members, heads of councils, and auxiliary leaders, Bishop would like to meet with us this evening at 6.30 p.m. So please make note, it's very important. We'll be having the members meeting on Wednesday, so he wants to meet with you first this evening at 6.30 p.m. So all the EMC members, heads of councils, and auxiliary leaders meet with Bishop this evening at 6.30 p.m. And on next week, Sunday, it will be an all-white Sunday. 
If you don't have a white, please don't let that deter you and don't let that stop you. But as much as possible that can dress in white and next week Sunday morning for our Sunday morning's worship service, we ask you please to be out in your white. It's a special design service. The servant of God, our bishop, has been instructed by the Lord and he has this um, prayerfully prayed and sought the Lord and he wants you all to be in obedience so as much as possible as long as even if you don't have a full white and you can wear a white top whatever try to have on something white for next week Sunday praise God morning and in the evening praise God at 5 30 we want all of us to be here as we celebrate one of God's stalwarts who have served this ministry, praise God, with dignity, praise God, and one that has, been, has touched many lives. We want to show her how much we love and appreciate her for her hard work. Many years, praise God, she has labored tirelessly, praise God, and we want to show her how much we love her. So that's next week, Sunday evening at 530 p.m. in the will of the Lord. Let us all be here. Praise God. And water baptism will be on February 24, all right, the 24th of February at 7.30 a.m. by the Forum Beach. We'll be having water baptism. Jesus said, they that believed, praise God, must be baptized. So we are following through with the mandate. And finally, we have special greetings from Sister Hyacinth Saunders, Missionary Gloria Murray, and I'm asking you please to pray for Missionary Murray as never before. She needs a miracle from God, which God is not short of. She was in coma for over a week, and the time the doctor was planning to pull the machine from her, just like Minister Noteman, she woke up out of the coma. God is awesome. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so we want you to continue to remember missionary Gloria Murray in your prayers. Praise God. And I also want to acknowledge and give thanks for Sister Stacy Fishley. Praise God. God bless your Sister Stacy Fishley, Sister Pansy Henry, and Minister Noteman, Sister Pansy Henry has given me an envelope for you for next week, Sunday. So I will do so in the will of the Lord. God bless you, Sister Pansy Henry. We also have greetings from Sister Ivan Shaw. God bless you, ma'am, and thank you a million. Also, Sister Dita Roberts, thank you also. God bless you. We have greetings also from the Whites from the Bronx. The Lord bless you, Sister White. It was a pleasure meeting with you. We have also greetings from Sister, from Missionary Margaret Reeves out of Canada. Special greetings from Deaconess Naomi Nelson and family. Praise God and we give God thanks. Also, I got a note that Sister Faye Piper, Sister Piper, are you here? Faye Piper from out of Canada. All right, we welcome you. We are happy to have you. And we give God thanks for you. She's from um, Bishop Eccles Church, House of Praise. And she has been worshiping with us. And we acknowledge you this morning. And we thank you for making it power of faith. Give her a power of faith welcome. God bless you. And finally, Sister Georgia Ogilvie. Are you here, Sister Georgia? Oh, beautifully. Stand up. She asked me to acknowledge her this morning. Happy celebrating her birthday today. Give her a big hand. God bless you. And I know you love the Lord. And may you continue to stride in him. Happy, happy birthday to you. God bless you. Stand with me, please. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. As we get ready to receive the word of God. This morning, I want our hearts to be in the right place. As I was praying last night, 
the Holy Spirit ministered to me from the book of Genesis chapter 18 and verse 14. And as I heard exhorter, praise God, Thomas made the statement that the problem that we as Christians are having is a level of faith and trust and confidence that we exercise in God. And the Holy Spirit started to minister to me when the Lord spoke to Abraham and to Sarah. Abraham was 99 years old and Sarah was 989, almost 90. And the word of the Lord came to them and said that she was going to be a mother. And Sarah laughed because she could not believe it. And the Lord spoke to Abraham and Sarah and said, Is there anything too hard for God? At the time appointed, I am going to return. Ah, oh, Jesus, glory to God. Somebody here this morning, you are questioning God. And you are asking, is it real? God, can you, can you, will you? You have made me promise and it has not yet been fulfilled. But this morning could be your appointed time. That appointment may just be today. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus, is there anything too hard for God? Nothing is impossible. For with God, all things are possible to them that believe. I leave you with that word this morning. And as you ponder in your mind and in your spirit, ask yourself, is there anything too hard for God? And God said, at the appointed time, I will return and perform that which I have spoken unto you because I honor my words above my name. Before one shot or tickle of my word pass, heaven and earth will pass away. That's God. That's God. That's God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you this morning. Mm, his presence is here. His glory is in the house this morning. Mm, hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. As I prepare to present the speaker, I look and I saw Elder Winston Ricketts and his precious wife, Deaconess Ricketts, out of the Brooklyn Assembly. God bless you. Thank you. I've also seen Deaconess Valerie Simith from the Brooklyn Assembly. Hallelujah. And I see, praise God, Deaconess Pamela Esson and Pamela Lewis. You have so much name from the Bronx Assembly. The Lord richly bless you. We are happy to have you. And at this time, it's my privilege, it's my pleasure, it's my honor to present to us this morning's speaker. He's no stranger to this pulpit and all different pulpits all over Jamaica. One of the most, I mean, sought after preacher. Uh, they use him for different um, occasions, graduations, uh, Jesus, overseas, locally. And he's known by a lot of people. And he has always been a blessing. And this morning, it's my pleasure, it's my privilege to present to us 
the audience this morning minister michael mirage receive him now in care of god and the holy ghost god bless you praise god somebody give god a praise oh what a mighty god we serve angels bow before him and heaven and earth adore him lift up your hand and give god a praise hallelujah Oh, come on, church, worship him and worship him. Hallelujah. For if your hands are anointed, and if your feet are anointed, and if you're under the blood, under the blood, for if your hands are anointed, and if your feet are anointed, and if you under the, under the, under the blood, why I'm anointed to keep the enemy. I am anointed with power, no more defeat. Waiting for. of God this morning. Make him welcome over and over and over again. I love you, Lord. You can do better than that for the Holy Spirit. Oh, come on, church. Hallelujah. I must have my Savior with me. I thank God for his manservant, Apostle Bishop Dr. Delford Davis. Put your hands together for him. I want you to do it very loud for the co-founder, Dr. Petrova Davis. Put your hands together for her. And for all the ministers. And do it for yourself. If you can, just hold hands with your neighbor quickly. Father, we stand in your presence this morning, Almighty God. And we give you all the praise and all the glory. As I step up to this appointed and anointed desk, I pray that you wipe my mind clean now and use me as your seed fit. Oh, the great God of Abraham, saturate this room now, almighty God. Let the walls of division drop flat on the ground in the name of Jesus. Create an atmosphere that your word go forward with power. And with clarity in the name of Jesus. 
We remove every hindrance this morning in the name of Jesus. We catch a witch that casts in spell. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ against you. We take authority in the spiritual realm and we command evil workers be dismissed in the name of Jesus. We command everything from hell to be defeated now in your life in the name of Jesus. No God, look at Lot 13. Look in this place, Almighty God, and let your glory fill this room. Use me now, Almighty God, and speak to me now. Let your people be encouraged and strengthened. We tell you thanks for this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh, somebody put your hands together for the Lord. Ah, you may be seated. It was read earlier from the book of Jeremiah. And I will waste no time getting into this word today. And I want to pick it up from maybe about verse 6. Then said I, Ah, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child. For thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. This word this morning, church, it is a personal word for every one of us, and it is a personal word for me too. It is a word of encouragement for every child of the most high God. Do I have under my voice the children of God? Raise your hand and be identified. Let the devil know I'm a child. Of the most high God. Oh, some of you need to make that declaration loud so that some witches and some some warlock and, and some whoopia man and some bad mind supervisor and some bad mind neighbor and some wicked people will live with spot to live. You need to raise your hand and tell them, I am a child. take two more seconds to tell you because of how I come up in the garrison. There are sometimes some people want you to know before you mess with them they tell you which family they belong to. So before you get yourself into trouble and say so you know who is my father you know my family you know how big my bucket is. I am asking you this morning to let some people know that you are no stranger. You are no fatherless. You are no orphan. Jump up this morning and let the devil know I am a child of the most high God. Jeremiah had a little doubt in his spirit when he said to the Lord, for I am a child. Oh, you're not hearing me. And the Lord said, do not say I am a child. I'm getting into this word quick this morning because there are some warriors in power fits. 
And some people will make you feel like you are some little nobody. But I am under the option of the Holy Spirit to remind you this morning. Not because you are not minister and pastor and elder. Let them know I am, I am a warrior. I have no problem with the titles. For in Ephesians for the Lord, I make some apostles. I make some pastors, I make some teachers, I make some prophets, but there are many of us, and if you're not a pastor, evangelist, prophet, I under the Holy Spirit this morning, I anoint you a warrior, can I see God warriors them, I anoint you, what? Every minister have to be a warrior. Every bishop have to be a warrior. Am I speaking the truth? Everybody on the drum have to be a warrior. You play on the keyboard. You have to be a warrior. For it is of inspiration and echoes of faith. Everybody, everybody have to be a warrior. Oh, somebody give God a praise. <laughs> Minister, what is the theme? One more minute. The Lord said, before I formed you in the womb, oh, I knew you. Some of you get discouraged because nobody don't know you. Oh, you're not hearing me. So now you get a little discouraged because you know the big people near me now your phone. Uh, some of you have some phone, it never ring yet. <laughs> Nobody not call you. You have your call people and say, why do you not remember me? But there is a friend that stick closer. Anybody know his name? Somebody call your good friend name. Jesus! Before I form you in the womb, tell somebody a long time God knew me now. Oh, you're not preaching me this morning. Tell him a long time God knew me. Some people see up on the road, John, and pretend like them not see you. But anyway, me go. Jesus is with me. If I go on the bus, Jesus is with me. If I take the taxi, Jesus is with me. Put me in the hospital for sick bed. Jesus is with me. For ye know I want. Coming to it. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. God know everything about you. If you had big, God know. If you had little, God know. Your nose pointed, God know. Spread well like jumbo jet, God know. It no matter how you look. I come into it and I come into it. People pay too much attention to physical attributes. If the preacher look good, he must can preach good. If him suit good, he must have the anointing. I lie you a tell for man look and the old water. But somebody said, look at me, God look. Before you were born, I sanctified you. Give your neighbor high five and say, neighbor, God have a purpose for me. And today I am anointed. I have been anointed from birth. Oh, you're not getting this church. 
some of we are Christians over 30 years now some of we over 20 some of we over 10 some for five years some for couple months and how long you take the deep before you were born the Lord say I sanctified you anybody can feel can you feel it can you feel it the presence of God shared something in there before I form you in the womb sometimes we say but we jump over it God said me I work upon you a long time a long time me I work upon you because you're so special I don't want nobody mess you up me sanctify you myself oh lord 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 i won't get in a trouble quick now bishop dr delford davis is among the few pastors who give ministers the opportunity to preach in them church on sunday morning some church are sunday night and monday night you one and two prayer members alone in a church but bishop put me in the pulpit sunday morning some preachers lock you down shut you down lock you off but the holy ghost have a way when man lock you down god turn you up somebody say rev up rev up rev up Somebody said, turn me up, God. I ordain you a prophet to the nation. And Jeremiah said, oh, Lord, I cannot speak for I am but a youth. But the Lord said something encouraging. I come into the theme. Don't say you're a youth. Stop look down upon yourself. Oh, just take a moment with God, no man. Stop look down upon yourself. Look upon your neighbor and some neighbor. Stop doubting yourself. You can get it done. Stop doubting yourself. If you want the visa. Stop doubting yourself. If you want to travel to America, stop doubting yourself. The Lord said, Jeremiah, don't say you're a youth, for you shall go wherever I command you, and anywhere I send you, and whatever I tell you to say. Oh, I command you to say it. I come into it. I come into it. Do not be afraid of their faces. Hey, some people in a church ugly body. No? When some of you wrench up, when they're not like it, them wrench up. But I don't care if you are wrench or spanner. The Holy Ghost have more things in the toolkit. If you are wrench, then me a armor. If you are me a screwdriver, you want to get it done. Every day you wrench up. Like are you one in a this a tool pan ya? If wrench in a the pan, I'm a in a the pan too. If I'm a in a the pan, screwdriver in a the pan too. And the screwdriver in there. In the toe, look by your neighbor and say, Neighbor, the whole we are few work together. <laughs> Do not be afraid of their faces, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. I come into it now. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. The Lord says, Sit there. I put my words in your mouth when Bishop Dr. Delford Davis stand right here, sir. 
are not bishop words anymore. It is the word of the Lord said. I love this thing and I'll come into it. He says, see, I have said to this day, over nations and over kingdoms, what are we here to do? The Lord said, I want you to root out. Can I get an active church this morning? I don't mean to mess up the Sunday morning. We usually do this on Wednesday. But the devil is not a Wednesday devil. It's not a Saturday devil. It's not a Sunday morning devil. It's a everyday devil. Somebody root up now, man. Root up now. Root up now. Root up now. Root up. I hear it in my spirit. The whole witch and the dragon walking at the church and sprinkling a beer film. I try empty the church. This was not on my mind, Holy Spirit. I said the church to pack. Every church has suffer and power fear back from the right to the left, from the back and to the front. Upper room full and the witch come in and a sprinkling at the roof. Do I have some radical people? Somebody say, hold, 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 hold. The witch sprinkle. Lord Jesus, somebody war. To pull down, them set up some orders, not only in Jamaica, and them set it up in the business place. Them set it up in the community. Them set it in the church. For principalities and powers in heavenly places. But there are some anointed people right here with me this morning. We can rectify this for every high thing. Come the man, sir. Pull down the man. Pull. Come on up. Reach up and pull. There is a suicidal spirit, but we're pulling it down in the name of Jesus. There is a gathering spirit, but we're pulling it down in the name of Jesus. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, are you with me? It's not entertainment. If you're not helping pull, then the way you are doing it. Paul! Paul! There is a marijuana spirit that has been released in the Caribbean. But I come against it this morning in the name of Jesus. Every ganja spirit, fire upon the root, fire upon the root. Fire upon the fire upon the fire. Fire. The Lord said, I want you to destroy. I, I'm coming to the team, man. I'm warming up to the team. I want you to destroy. I want you to, to throw down when you're defeating the devil. No lame down like you are Madden. No putting down like you are Romans. The Holy Ghost said, Some of you need it. Fling down some. Mass up. Come on, church. The Holy Ghost said, No hang on the devil like him, dear Tim. And 
when you root up, plant a good seed, plant the good gospel, plant the good news, plant Romans 10. Somebody say, plant, 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 and build. The theme, I was made for this. Oh, you're not hearing me. I was made for this. Uh, when Jeremiah got it in his spirit, according to Jeremiah 20, he said, oh Lord, you have induced me. And I was persuaded from verse 7. You are stronger than I. And I prevail. I am in derision daily. And reproach. Then I said to myself. I will not make mention of him. Nor speak anymore in his name. But his word. Oh you have to get it you know. Jeremiah wanted to give up. Oh, God said, I, am, I make you for this. I made you for this. God said, I make you for this. I am so... Bishop should have been here. So I could look in his eyes. And say, though you come to the rough side of the mountain. Though you wanted to turn away. When them threw you out of the house. When your young wife was pregnant. And so you can't have no more children. When them treat you bad. And give you a little bit of peer as a pastor. But you were never discouraged. When they go up on the bike. And ride go St. Thomas. And preach in the rear. When you travel from Mandeville. To Kingston. And no gas no in the car. No food no in your house. And your wife have a baby. The Lord said. I made you. For this. Ah. When you are made for something. Let me continue. Jeremiah says. For I heard many mocking, fear on every side. You think when I hear the mockery? You think when I hear them a tease me? You don't think when I hear them a car with teeth in pasta? Oh, some of you not preaching me. Some of you look good for me. It's all right. You think I don't hear them? So I'm a giant big car. I know we are teeth in pasta. Me and a pasta. And your mother tell you, see me around and say, thief in pasta. A thief, people, tithes and offering. You think when I hear them a mock church? You think when I hear them a mock pastor? You think when I hear them a mock bishop? Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I hope you're not a mocker. Because every mocker going to stumble. Every mocker going to fall. The Lord said, they shall stumble. They shall not prevail. Lord, Lord, I come into it. The purpose requires clear and ambiguous declaration of the objectives that are required to accomplish the objective that we have set out. It also influenced the design. Hey, when God make you for a purpose, God design you different. Oh, you're not hearing me. And I say, big and bold, you know. Hey, some ministers, male or female, can't go up on the road, you know. Because some of you not get exposed to pretty girls yet. And sexy girls yet. And the Jezebel will come and teeth you away. But some of we been there. No hot girl can't trick way. Oh, you're not hearing me. Some of you can't hang the pretty girls are rude. That's why some pop. That's 
why some pastors fall. Because them eyes, they want me to use the word of God. Jesus said, for all that is in the world is the loss of the flesh, the loss of the eyes, and the pride of life. Check every pastor fall, male or female, loss of the flesh, loss of the eyes, or the pride of life. But when God make you for a purpose, nobody not too sexy, nobody not have enough money, nobody can't try your Lord. Nobody can buy you. I'm preaching it like there is no tomorrow. The Lord said, look what me make you for Jeremiah. It's not to friend them up. You can tell when God make you for a purpose. Some of your mali, some of we preachers. It is all right. Because we now preach to please you. Because we have to preach who sin we come. You're not hearing me. Because if we preach certain way, we will lose your friendship. But we have to preach like there is no tomorrow. The Holy Ghost said, I have made you for this. They came to Apostle John. According to John chapter 1. Oh, you want me to jump into it now? And the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to say, Who are you? Lord, Lord, Lord. Look at your neighbor, how are you? Ask them, good man, how are you? Ask them again, how are you? A long time I say, Who are you? And John confessed, I am not the Christ. He did not deny, but confessed. And then the priest asked him another question. They said, then them asking, what then? Are you Elijah? The word of God said, he answered, no. They said, are you the prophets? He said, I am not. And them say, well, they we're confused, we're confused. Them say, what do you say of yourself? John said, I have a purpose. I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight. Tell your neighbor, may have purpose. John said, I am not the Christ. I am not Elijah. I am not one of the prophets. They said, then who you be then? Who you be? John said, I am the voice crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord. Can I go a little further? Then those who were sent were from the Pharisees. Hey, tell your neighbor, don't be no Pharisees. Those who were sent were from the Pharisees. They say, you have to tell me something so we can go back to them because they pay with good money. John said, somebody said, John said, and everybody message, you know, but I really, everybody message, who want to take it? Who don't want it? Leave it alone. Some of you will watch people like you not no use. But I was made for a purpose. John answered them and said, let me tell you. I was not. John said this. Let me say it the proper, proper way. Answered and said, I baptize with water but there is one who is standing among you may I say the proper way according to John account there is one who is standing among you it is he that is preferred before me that is coming after me John said I was made for this You know, 
church, I want to say this. I have been lecturing for a while. I won't use up the time. And uh, I was not a Christian, Dr. Davis. But I have a lot of students. On a Sunday morning, I will have anywhere between one to 200 students. And I sat the morning too. And we have class 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. 12 hour class. Them say I'm a teaching machine. And I said to the students, long before I gave my life to the Lord, I want to have devotion on the Saturday morning. And I want to have devotion on the Sunday morning. I said, I can't come. I forgot church. I will ask you in Bishop absence. I said, the Adventists, come have church Saturday morning. The Sunday worshipers, come have church Sunday. Go and tell your pastor, me I ask you, no, me I beg you, no. Come up church. 150 unsaved. Come and have church. Take a hour. Nobody answered. I walk into the lecture theater and I open up my Bible. And I go where and only know where to go. Can we come from the ghetto? I will not read no other book, book Psalms. For he who dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under this. I couldn't go no further. I burst in the auditorium. Real, real. Christ so real to me. For he give us the victory. Many people doubt him. But I cannot do without him. And that is why I love for him. And they may launch into my favorites. It's coming down, down, down. It's coming down. When the glory is coming down. When the saints begin to break. And the Lord shall have his way. And the glory of the Lord is coming down. I sat down. In the house, and when I sat in the house, my good friend said to me, what, what are you going to do? I said, I don't know. Long before I give my life to the Lord, I pray about this. And I'm making an announcement. If it upset you or so, So what are you going to do? I say, I see a stage in my life. So a stage, stage. I don't know if I'm going to be a politician. I don't know if it's entertainment. And I don't know if I'm going to be a preacher. But I see a stage in my life. I have no desire. Lord, I don't know what you have to be a pastor. I have no desire to hold the office of bishop, reverend and those things. But the Lord said, as I make you to open up your mouth and tell my people, I take you to Rima. You never hold no gun and bust it. I carry you to poverty. You never sell out to large and free meals. 
You never made no man hungry up like your woman. You live a straight life. God say I made you to go through difficult, to go through rough, to go through tough. That you will know that I am with you to deliver you. I will. To David. And David said, What will be done for this man? And David said, According to 1 Samuel 17, I will slew this Philistine. I quicken up the message, can I must stop. And Saul said to David, You are not able to go against this Philistine. Same words that Jeremiah said. For I am, you are a youth. And he, a man of war from his youth. And David said to Saul, Your servant used to keep his father's sheep. And when a lion and a bear came and take a lamb out of the flock, I went after it and I struck it. And I took the lamb out of his mouth. And when he rose up against me, I shook it and I killed it. David wanted Saul to know I am made for this. You know, long me run at the back of fight. You know, long me a fight lion. You know, long me a fight bear. Some of you think me a preach since become a PFM. Me a preach in high school. Me a preach in a bank. Me a preach in a business place. Me preach Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 12 hours on Saturday, all day Sunday. You think I know? Me book up a witch who never liked me. And I was not a Christian. Me not preach to please nobody. Anymore in this world, God said, I am made you. For this. And David said, This Philistine will be like the lion and be like the bear. I want some people to start getting. The David spirit that even though the power of the lion is resting on your family, that lion spirit can bring down your family. Oh, some of you give up long time. That beer spirit is resting on your family, squeezing your children, squeezing your marriage. The Lord said, I am with. If you're going for more in 24, you have to know what kind of purpose God has for your life. If you are chef, be the best chef. If you are security, be the best security. If you're an accountant, be the best accountant. If you're a secretary, be the best secretary. Look for your neighbor and say, neighbor, go for it, go for it, go for it. You have been made for this. According to Luke chapter 4, I'm wrapping it up quick, i stop. And from verse 16, so he came to Nazareth. And he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath, as was his custom. I'm quoting from the New King James Version. And he stood up to speak. 
and they handed him the book. <laughs> and he opened the book. You know which book they handed him, right? Of the prophet Isaiah. And the scripture said, and he found where it was written. What was written? That the spirit of the Lord is upon me. For the Lord has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. I know what Isaiah 61 say. I want to give it according to Luke 4. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted and the open up of the prisons to those who are born to set at liberty. Somebody said, loose me, loose me, loose me to set at liberty. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. And then the Bible say, he closed the book. Look on your neighbor and say, neighbor, there are some bad luck spirits. We are closed them out right now. There are some lust that we're facing. We are closed them out right now. There are some hypocrites. We are closed them out right now. We are losing some money. But we are closed them out right now. Somebody say, lock up, lock up, lock up, lock up. Come. John. And the Lord Jesus closed the book gave it back to the attendant and sat down and the word of God said all who were in the room their eyes were fixed on him and Jesus said to them today this scripture is fulfilled in your presence Jesus and make them know I was made for this and according to first John 3 and verse 8 that he who sin is of the devil for the devil sin from the beginning for this purpose the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy I don't me don't preach stand up on your feet if you will Sit down if you don't have no purpose. Let the purpose people stand and be identified. And a pretty preaching today is I hear that you must know what you stand for, who you are, what you're going to do, what is your calling, where you day of What is your purpose? What God make you for? Did God make made you to come to church to get trouble? Did I am saying it clear? I'm not trying to be rude. What God make you for? To come to church to dress up good and show off our church, brother, and show off our church, sister. Why did God make you and preserve you that you start going like you're bigger, better than people? Why did God make you? So that you could be a womanizer, a gallist. Why did God make you? So you could have a man to pay your rent, want to buy a grocery, want to buy a gas, and want to do other things on the say. He God made us as ministers to give the bishop a hard time. Are we really supporting the man of God? 
Tell me the church that don't have differences. When you find it, come back. And tell me. Never find it. But it doesn't mean we don't have purpose. And when we find our calling. When we find why God has made us. It makes the world a difference. Dr. Davis, I'm not saying this because it sounds good. But I have to tell you, I get a job offer. Three to four times my pay. I'm in, a, I'm in a low paid needer. To God be the glory. Three to four times. And my wife looked at me and said, you know, you can't take that job there. Because you will have no time for God. God never make you for that. So you cannot take up that job. You won't even come to church on a Sunday. The position too big. It's like a war every moment of your time. She said, who will go to the basic school? Who will go to the high school? Who will go to the different places that God's sending you? You can't take it. I'm just telling you. How many of us will have looked upon them amount of money there? And say, me can't take it. It was offered. Just say yes. My wife said, you can't take that. If you take that church, no see you again. It's not me alone, you know. You see the ministers, them. You see them and the elders and the prayer warriors. You know, know where some of them give up, you know. And the pastors, them out there and the, those on the drum and keyboard. See John there? Enough church want him. Pay him good money to. I mean, no. Had him come through me too to get to him. Are you serious sometimes? You don't understand. We give up money to be here. Because we were made for this. And a boss of a bossy. But there is something in side for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works which God has prepared beforehand that we should walk I am making a serious call this morning I preach from my heart to your heart I've been holding this for years the Lord said, go ahead. Release that testimony. That you have been holding this for a long time. I am not perfect. But I was made. I'm in knowing I'm a spirit. That I was made for this. And I'm saying it to the devil. To those who dislike me, those who believe that I look a ghetto boy, where mother pregnant from child 15, I'm used to bat on the street from Reem and Tivoli and Jungle. I was made for this, for this gospel must be preached. So, this. Little cool man is calling everybody under my voice who have a purpose and you shut it down. Somebody throw cold water for your purpose. Ministers, them don't have to come down, but them can pray. Some of you have some things lock up in you and you're afraid to let it out. Some of your prayer warriors are pretty cute, but at 24, this ambition say we are going for more. Everybody purpose of your boss who open now. Who must be doctor, be doctor. Who must be accountant, be accountant. Who must be secretary, be secretary. Who must be CEO, be CEO. Who must be liar, be liar. Thank you for coming before me call. I want the purpose we got out for everybody. 
You must know where God make you for. I don't care which part you live. I don't care if you have money or no money. I don't care if you are exhort or evangelist, elder, dig. I don't care. God said, I know what me make you for. I know what I put inside of you. Some of you are prayer warrior and you make people lock you down. Clean up your lifestyle and come sit down on the prayer bench and full up in your white. Some of you are pastor. Many of you women and men in this church, you are pastors. But you make them tell in a community, say, you can't be no pastor. Some of you are held out. Come closer, man, come closer. They cannot kill purpose. Yeah, Usher. But I don't know if that's your purpose. Your button is Usher. But I don't know if that is your purpose. Some of your button is a minister. But we don't know if that is our purpose. Where is the church? Come, the man, move. Just move out of your spot. Every dead purpose this morning. Holy Ghost, I wake it up. Every dead purpose. Holy Ghost, I wake it up this morning. God the Lord make you. Oh, you're not hearing me. The man of God said we are going for more. But you have to know where you are going for. You have to know what you are going for. Because when you walk in your purpose, everything is easy. Because you are walking and you are calling. And don't tell me that it can't happen. Dr. David saying, is there anything too hard for God? The Lord said, Jeremiah, I have made you a pillar, a bronze wall. God has strengthened somebody this morning. You have the strength of Elijah in you. You have the fire of Daniel shut up in your bone. You have the purpose of Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You have gifts and calling over your life. I have made you for more. I have made you. I have made you, I have made you, I have made you. We need a church and a people who know why God make them, why they are here. We need a people that no longer doubt their God. A people that no longer doubt their God. No more doubts. No more doubts. No more doubts. No more, no more. No more, no more. No more. No more doubts. No more doubts. Let it out, man. Let it out. You're holding yourself back. You're holding yourself back. Come on, man. Receive it. Open up your spirit, my brother. Open up your spirit. Open up your spirit. Stop questioning it, man. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Come on, get a world seal. 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 Come out of that man. Come into something more. Come into something more. A 24. A 24. 
You were made. You are more than a conqueror. Come on, power fear. Come on, power fear. Come on. Come on, sister. Take it, man. Take what them now want. Call it, call it, call it, call it. Call it, call it, call it. Call it, call it. Right now, right now. Right now, right now. A collection time. A collection time. Come on, release. Collection time. Collection, collection. Time to collect. 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 Collect, 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 collect. I made you, I made you, 
you were made for greatness. Come on, sister. Open up your spirit. Stop doubting God. God said, I have a plan for you. I have a plan for you. I have a plan. I have a plan. I have a plan. Yes. Jesus, Jesus. Come on, go for something big. Don't go for nothing smart. Go for something big. Come on, my sister. Let me hold your phone, man. Go for something big. Go for something big. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Glory, glory, glory. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, no man. Come on, no man. Come on, no man. Come on, no man. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Do you really want it? Do you really want it? Do you really want it? God said, I made you for this. I made you for this. You're a CEO. You're a CEO. I made you. I made you. I made you. Come on, Madam CEO. Come on, Madam President. Come on. Jesus, I'll set you free. I set your family free. I open up your prison door and lose you in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, take off your grave clothes. Come out of the coffin. I command you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. I command you. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out, 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 rock out, diet, rock out, diet, rock out, rock out, rock, 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 come out, I command you, right now, right now, in the name of Jesus, I lose you, I lose you, hey, I command you, you wicked liar, devil, break, break. for something man for once in a life Online, tap into this. 
bring on a call. Lord, say it is, it is well. It is well, says the Lord. It is well, says the Lord. One more time, the Lord said, it is well. It is well. In the name of Jesus, I declare you the head and not the tail. I declare you above and never beneath. Come, 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 come. Kale, 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 kale. Kale, kale, kale. The man of God open up his mouth under the leading of the Holy Spirit and say, so We are going for more in 24. Not next year, we're going for more in 24. And the Lord will put in my spirit that if you are going to go for more you must know what you are going for and he has dropped the word in my mouth that when you are going for it don't doubt yourself for I made you for this purpose made you for this and you must have no doubt that God has created you for this purpose and you must start to declare over your life what you are made for no more pity party no more pity dance it's time to break out and walk into your purpose, your God-given purpose. The Lord Jesus made it known and John confirmed that for this purpose, he was manifested that he might discharge the works of the enemy. God, make some of you to be accountants. Make some of you to be CEOs. Make some of you to be doctors, lawyers. I don't care what you're doing now. I'm talking about your God-given purpose. And you should not take it for granted. He made you well. And you should walk in them. And don't tell me you're too old. The Lord said to Abraham, I will make you a father of many nations. And in Romans 4, Paul says, Speak those things that are not as though they were start talk like a doctor talk like a nurse talk like a lawyer talk like an accountant talk like someone in charge it's already inside of you it's it's there it's on the inside it's there it just need to be manifested Father, I pray this morning that your people will no longer doubt themselves. As I struggled, Almighty God, as a servant of the Most High God, what is my purpose? So I pray today that everyone under my voice in this church, in that church, 
online, everywhere. Every children, every child of the most high God. It doesn't matter your denomination. Every child of God in every church. That you no longer doubt that God has made you for that purpose. You may not be walking it, but I pray this morning, Almighty God, that you reveal them by your spirit. So I place them in your hands, mighty God, that you unravel and uncover every hidden purpose, that you burn and purge away every dross that is hiding your people, God-given talent, the talent that you place in Jeremiah, like you place in them, that they will rise up out of slumber, rise up out of the pity dance, that you will raise them up out of the dust and place them in their purpose. For you made them great. You made them great. You gave them gifts that the university cannot give. You gave them gifts that the colleges cannot give. You gave them gifts they will never get in the school because they are heaven sent. So I pray now, God, that everyone who has doubted their purpose in life will be realigned this morning, will be renewed this morning, will be revitalized this morning, that their lives will never be the same. They will never walk in doubt, talk in doubt, but walk and speak with and in purpose in the name of Jesus. Let it be done for one and for all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, somebody put your hands together for the Lord. Hey. Hallelujah. Don't, don't you move. Don't you move. I walked into the church when I'm just getting a little idea of what I'm to do. And I walk in the church, not understanding church business. You know my testimony. I say I want to be baptized. I didn't know one of us say it work. But when you find your calling, you just want to be with God and God people. So I don't understand it. So I just come in and say, I want to be baptized. Is there anybody this morning under my voice who's saying, I want to give my life to the Lord? God, God have a plan for me. If you are here with time fast spent, I'm just asking you, just raise your hand. If you are here, I want, I want to give my life. You are standing right here. You're not a Christian. I see a hand, my sister. Raise it high. May them sister somebody raise them hand already. Is there anybody else? So, 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 so two more there. I want the two of you to come. I want you to come, my sister. Right here. So quick, quick. Hey, come right here, so my, my sister. Just stand right here. So quick, quick. Come, the man. Quick. Make room for them. Anybody else? Come quick, the man. Anywhere you are. Come quick. If you're online, I can't see you, but God see you. Raise your hand in your bedroom, living room, wherever you are. In your car, in your hospital. At work, just raise your hand where you are. The Holy Ghost, see you. Come on, church. This is what it's all about. Purpose is being fulfilled. It says, It's not my wish that any should perish, but that all should come. I, I, I saw me look. I'm a come, church. I'm a jeans. I'm a sneakers. She and a swing for my neck. And uh, you, you, you understand, so on the inside, God, I work. Is there anybody else? Anybody else? I want all of us to repeat this prayer. You come to my sister. You come to. Thank you. You're coming to mommy. Come. Who else are come? Come quick. Church, this is what it's all about, you know. It's what it's about. There could be a prophetess standing right here, so right now, with something locked up inside of her. 
John the Baptist could be right here, so right now. Repeat after me. Dear Jesus, close your eyes. Come church, everybody say it together. Dear Jesus, I thank you for today. I thank you for your word, God. And I am responding. And I am taking out your word. That you are faithful and just to forgive me of all my sins. And cleanse me of all unrighteousness. So I ask you to forgive me, Lord. Take me as I am. And I promise, Lord, to follow you today and the rest of my life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. This lady right behind you. Oh, let me be the first to shake your hand. Welcome. She's going to take you. Go with her. All right. So we are going to enter into another phase of worship. See, all right. They go with her, please. Give us a life course while they return to their seat. Oh, we can Thank sing. Thank God for the cleansing blood. Thank God. Come on, church. Worship. For the cleansing blood. Father, we give you thanks for your presence. We give you thanks, Lord, for the way you have moved. We thank you, Lord, for your servant whom you are so used mightily this morning. Lord God Almighty, we pray as we, your people, come before you. Lord, give him back a portion of that which you have blessed us with. Because God is out of thine home that we are giving back to you. I pray, Lord God Almighty, that thou will touch the gift and the giver. And even those, Lord God, have nothing to give this morning. I pray, Lord God, that the step of faith will be exercised. Lord, where they will walk from their seat and touch the very offering bucket. That at the next appointed time when we come together like this, Lord, they can give. And so as we give, let us not give sparingly. Let us not give grudgingly, but let us give, Lord God, with a willing spirit. I pray, Father, Lord God, that you'll continue to bless your people in abundance. And so as we give to the furtherance of your work, ear and hurt, we thank you for blessing the offering right now. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you, minister. The ushers are going to lead us in giving. And as um, soon as they have given, they are going to take up their position and they're going to give you instructions how to give. We give in order in this church. 
God is a God of order. Those who are to my right and my left, to the wings, you will give in the receptacles that are placed there. And please remember our tithes are to be placed irrespective of where you are in this container right here. We're still doing the 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I did not say zero. If you have a zero, it's 10. But nevertheless, Minister Brown said, walk up and touch that at your next appointed time. You may not give with the instruction. And those who give by cart, to my left, your right, you can proceed to do so. And those who are online, as our bishop would say, I say like him, you can use the various medium online to give. Cash up and many money transfer things are out there. Don't use those scammer ones though. Send it to PFM. And if you have doubt, place a call. The numbers are on the screen. And you can call and find out how to give. As Bishop would say, you have been fed all the time from this house into your house. Nothing is wrong with you being a blessing to this church. Am I speaking the truth, church? Good. All right, no, church, follow the instructions of the ushers and give accordingly as you want to give. I owe some money to you know, to your church. You're not give me 10 yet. <clears throat> Do we have an announcer to give an announcement during this time? Please make her welcome. Put your hands together for her, please. Clap her better on that one. Thank you, Minister Mirage. Welcome to the pages of the Power of Faith Ministry Diary for week beginning Sunday, January 14th, 2024. Greetings came from the following brethren to our Bishop, Minister Davis, and the Power of Faith Ministries family. Sister Margaret Johnson Palmer, who also sends special greetings to the Adult One Sunday School class. Missionary Yvette Sancroft who also sends special greetings to the Voices of Inspiration Choir. And from Deacon Desmond and Deaconess Mavis Gregory, they send special greetings to the Voices of Inspiration Choir and the Marriage Enrichment Ministry. In our meetings after service, baptismal instruction classes are held every Sunday immediately after service in Upper Room 1 and also at 5.30 p.m. On Wednesday, they also meet at 6 p.m. for persons interested in water baptism. Persons who are interested in being a part of the birthday club, please meet with Exhorter Ricardo Ricketts or Exhorter Danique Morgan by the announcer's office. In our upcoming events, the Marriage Enrichment Family Ministry will be celebrating 20 years in ministry in 2024 and we invite all couples, both saved and unsaved, to our retreat 2024 to be held June 20 to 23 under the theme, Reigniting the Past, Celebrating the Future. It's a couples weekend specially designed to intensify and fan the flame of the greatest gift, love. Registration forms are available from Minister Sharon Duffus Grant and any member of the Marriage Enrichment Family Ministry Committee. The train is rolling. Get on board as you pay little by little so that come June, you would have secured your seat on the train of love. In our weekly activities, the school's devotion team will meet on Monday at the Nago Head Primary School at 7 a.m., the Bridgeport Primary School at 7.45 a.m. and the Port Henderson Primary at 8 a.m. Then on Friday, they will meet at the Independent City Primary School at 7.45 a.m. Still on Monday, all evangelists, you're asked to be out for a meeting at 6.30 p.m. On Wednesday's fasting comes up at 7 a.m., Come, expect miracles, breakthroughs, and blessing in abundance. You are sure to leave with a testimony. 
And on Wednesday evening at 6.30 p.m., we return for members meeting. On Friday, our worldwide prayer meeting commences at 7 p.m. And now thank you note, the Browns family have expressed their appreciation to our bishop, Minister Davis, and the Power of Faith family for your love, your expression of love, your kindness, and support during the passing of their loved ones. And for our clinic date on Saturday, January 20th, the gynecologist will be in office at 9 a.m. In our sick and death notices, Mother Broadbell is in the University Hospital of the West Indies. The following persons have passed away and funeral arrangements are pending. Sister Tina Pitter, the aunt of Sister Brittany Hines, the father of Sister Tamika Brown, the husband of Sister Michelle Taylor Stockpole, the sister of Brother Keith Skeen, and the sister of Brother John Miller. Our scheduled funeral services for the late Brother Michael Smith will be held on Saturday, January 20 at the Malvern Assembly of God in Malvern, St. Elizabeth, beginning at 1 p.m. and interment will be in the family plot. The funeral service for Sister Barnes will be held on Saturday, January 27th at the Redbury District Church of the Nazarene in Poros, Manchester, beginning at 11 a.m. The funeral service for Usher Arlene Allison, and she's the sister of Sister Joy Spencer Monroe, will be held on Sunday, January 28th at the Worldwide Church of God in Christian Penn, beginning at 11 a.m., and interment will be at Meadowrest. The funeral service for the late Sister Patricia Murray will be held on Sunday, January 28th at the Content Hall Seventh-day Adventist Church in West Milan, beginning at 1 p.m. Interment will be at the family plot. The funeral service for the brother of Deacon Neil Chambers will be held on Sunday, February 4th at the Rock of Hope Seventh-day Adventist Church of God, and that's at 98 St. John's Road, beginning at 12 noon. The funeral service for the father of Sister Esther Grace Allen of the Voices of Inspiration Choir will be held on Monday, February 5th at the Spanish Town New Testament Church of God at 10 a.m. and interment will follow in the family plot in Point Hill, St. Catherine. The funeral service for the mother of Sister Delis Brown or Missionary Delis Brown will be held on Saturday, February 17th at the Shiloh Apostolic Church in Prospect District, Manchester beginning at 11 a.m., and interment will be at the family plot. The funeral service for the grandmother of Sister Nicolette Henry will be held on Friday, February 23, right here at the Power of Faith Ministries, beginning at 10 a.m., and interment will be at Dovecot, and the combined choir will minister for that funeral service. Our bishop, his wife, and the members of the Power of Faith family Share with those who are ill or have lost loved ones. Our prayers are with you. And just some reminders in closing. For persons who did not collect their banquet anniversary token, please collect same today by the restaurant. Persons who have collected envelopes for Minister Noteman, please remember to take them with you next week Sunday evening. Members who are on the Sajiko Insurance Scheme, you have been reminded to make your payment now for the new year 2024. It was my pleasure to have served you this morning. Do have a productive and blessed week in the Lord. And remember, you were made for this. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. I ask you, we complete our giving to stand a little beyond time, but... We understand this is a church, the living God, and the Lord does what pleases him best. Just one final reminder. We are just sensitizing the parents and guardians of the melodies of praise, the youth and the kiddies. We are going to be officially commencing on the third Saturday, the third of February. You know, between the hours of 1 to 3 p.m., that goes for the kiddies, ages 6 to 12 and ages um and between 3 to 5 p.m our youths from 13 to 25. there are many new activities for this year and we look forward to your usual support and just overlooked 
I looked over there and I've seen another person, which is Deaconess Pauline Vidal from the Brooklyn Assembly. Give her a big hand. God bless you, Deaconess. And thank you for your love that you continue to pour out. Greatly appreciated. God richly bless you. Praise God. And just quickly, the EMC, along with the heads of councils and auxiliary leaders, Bishop, meet with you this evening at 6.30 p.m. Remember, on Wednesday will be our members meeting. Every member of Power of Faith, you are to be here at 6.30 p.m. Praise God. And remember, on next week's Sunday, all white Sunday, and in the evening at 5.30, we celebrate God's Salawat Minister Isilda Noteman. Were you blessed of the Lord this morning? God, we give God praise. We give God praise. Touch your neighbor and tell your neighbor you have a purpose in God. Yes, fulfill your God-given purpose. Fulfill your God-given purpose. God bless you. I am healthy, prosperous, wise and strong. I am God's anointed. I shall live long. I have my abundant life in Jesus Christ. God shall perfect that which concerns me. And no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper in Jesus' name. The grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The love of God the Father, full fellowship and communion of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Well, there you have it, dear friends. What a fellowship. What a joy divine. Feasting mm. from the master's table. Jeez. Indeed, a timely, timely word. Very timely, very timely. We trust that you are blessed and we thank God that we were able to make the connection so that you could have been fed today. And before we go, we just want to remind you that our weekly services are held here on Wednesdays, 9 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. and on Fridays at 6.30 p.m. So please, join us. And of course, we look forward to your usual wonderful support. God has been good to us. Through you, you have supported us right through 2023. And continuing into 2024, you're still supporting us. We thank you for your wonderful support. Amen. Remember to like, subscribe, and share the YouTube and the Facebook links so others can be blessed and can be fed from Amen. these channels. With God on our side, we can fight any giant yes. at any age. Just learn about David or ask 85 years old Caleb mm -hmm. when he entered the promised land. Yes, our responsibility is to ensure our lives are lived in a manner in which the Lord is well pleased. So, until we meet again in the will of the Lord, I'm Minister Sharon Duffersclaw. And I'm Minister Nicolene Stevenson. Walk good. Walk with God and go with the blessings of the Lord upon your life.